the Oakland Raiders were born in Oakland. And as many Oakland Raiders fans know now, the team not only was born in Oakland, but for a time, they weren't even supposed to exist. In 1961, the Minneapolis-St. Paul franchise in the American Football League, the AFL, became the Minnesota Vikings of the National Football League, and the AFL needed a replacement. So, here comes YC Chet Soda to establish a team, an AFL team in Oakland. Now, Mr. Soda was widely known for calling just about everybody he met, Senor. Hey, senor, Senor, how are you? Senor, how are you? And it was thought that even though not officially proved, he engineered a number of friends and associates to send in letters calling for the name Senor, which would explain why a Miss Helen Davis, no relation to the current Davis family, won the contest naming the Oakland team, the Senors. But, boy, that name with its colors that came with it, black and orange, Halloween colors, immediately made the team the butt of heavy jokes. And so, the team owners and management came in and said, that's it. We're not going to call them the Senors, we're going to call them the Raiders. The Raiders. The Raiders' name wasn't picked by the team owners out of a hat. It was also in the competition. I believe it came in third. But, again, because it was widely seen as a fix that led to the picking of the name Senors, which was a ridiculous name to begin with, no one had any problem dumping that name and adopting the Oakland Raiders as the name. The Raiders didn't win early on. And when a young, intelligent, bright head coach came in by the name of Val Davis, he was given enough control and say-so to call for new uniforms and new colors. That's right, silver and black. And the rest is history. Consider this. Not only is the rest of history, history there, but Oakland, if you, for those of you who might say, well, they went to L.A., I remind you of this. Raiders planning return to Oakland. That's right. Check the date. March 13th, 1990. New York Times. Lionel Wilson, the mayor of Oakland, who I know, a mentor of mine, <clears throat> received a telephone call today that he and the entire city of Oakland have waited for for 13 months. On the line was Al Davis, who said the Los Angeles Raiders would indeed return to Oakland. Davis denounced his decision here at the National Football League owners meeting, ending speculation on whether his team would move to Oakland or Sacramento or remain in Los Angeles, where he moved the franchise from Oakland in 1982. Sacramento pulled out of the running recently, and Davis' disagreements Los Angeles Coliseum officials over stadium renovations persisted. So, too, did the Raiders, Raiders losing ways in a city where they never matched the following and fan base support they had, they enjoyed in Oakland. Thus, it's back to Oakland, Davis said. Once the Oakland and Alameda County board of supervisors finish its paperwork at a public hearing tonight on the 15-year plan that will pay the Raiders $660 million and the NFL owners approve it. The Raiders are bound to their Los Angeles contract through the 1991 season, but Davis will likely seek a settlement a financial one or through or 
went through courts that would allow the Raiders to begin playing in Oakland this season. Now, this is what Davis said after that. He said, I will let the process go from here. I won't elaborate on what might happen next. There's always the possibility something could happen. We expect to play in LA this year, but if we leave and they say Al Davis breached a contract, that doesn't mean anything. That would be for the courts to say. Part of the Raiders deal with Oakland includes a $54.9 million franchise fee, $53.5 million in renovations to the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, guaranteed sellouts for its first five years worth nearly $19 million, and nearly $2 million guaranteed in parking concessions. Davis could not escape the nostalgia of his decision, nor some of the setbacks of his initial, his initial move caused. Regrets? Davis has a few. I regret that it's affected my team, he said. My life is right here. My life and the life of the players for 10 years unnecessarily. If that's what you mean by regret, then I, then I regret that. Oakland was where the Raiders had their history, and going back, we hope to regain some of that mystique we had. I don't think these decisions are agonizing, but decisions that are normal in our business, I think the fans are the ones that get hurt. I think the fans in LA will be hurt when we leave, but the fans in Oakland were hurt when we left. Think about that. Davis said he would follow the guidelines and procedures through the move, and that pleased NFL owners, who said they did not expect the move to have difficulty passing. He said it was a management decision. They were promised things when they first went that they never got, so this doesn't surprise me, says Tom Flores. L.A. is a different type of community, as is Oakland, but Oakland is better suited for the Raiders, and that was Tom Flores saying that. Oakland is better suited for the Raiders. Pat Bowen, Denver Broncos owner, said, as long as, I'm, as Al Davis follows the procedures, I have no problem with this. We had a great rivalry with Oakland over the years, and that won't change. Probably, if I were in his shoes, I'd want to be back in Oakland, too. Certainly, there was a lot of mystique and magic that was lost when they went to L.A. This goes on. Art Shell, the Raiders head coach, said that he and the Raider players have followed the story and have simply wanted it for, waited for it to unfold, aware that it's a management decision and remains there. Al Davis, Shell said, most of his players would welcome the news. I was playing for the Raiders in 1980 when the whole thing started in 82 and we packed and left for L.A., Shell said. We all pack again, and I think for the most part, the players relate to Oakland and they relate to what was. They would like to believe that this is the way it's going to be again. And I believe that because we are on the road to returning a champ to a championship level, they associated then Oakland with winning and L.A. with losing with not being part of the true Raider mystique, so they came back to Oakland. What better example of the fact that Oakland gave birth to the Raiders than that article and the people who made those statements? Oakland created the Raiders. It's that simple.